this frame, there's some capped honey up in the corner. A lot of capped worker brood, which is rather flat. Some open brood, you can see the larvae are very chubby. They will be capped over soon. And at the bottom, what's this? A queen cell. Capped. And there's another queen cell. Quite often bees make multiple queen cells during swarm season. Over here in the corner are a few drone cells. They're just domed a little bit and they lay on the frame in the same way that worker cells lay. Queen cells dangle down. About eight days after a queen cell is capped, a new queen emerges. And if other queens emerge around the same time, they will have a fight, like this queen fight. And one will be victorious. Her Majesty, but not quite, because she is not mated yet. She's got kind of a different look to her, right? She doesn't look calm and purposeful. She's not walking around searching cells. She's kind of flustered. She's not as plump as a mated queen would be, and she has more of a waist. The workers are just not paying any attention to her. Soon this virgin's gonna fly out, mate with about a dozen drones or more, and come back in and settle down and she'll stop acting all squirrely like this. She'll become plumper, the bees will pay attention to her, and she will start looking in cells to see if she should lay an egg in each one. Since a virgin runs more, she's kind of hard to spot. And you might think your hive has no queen, if this is the way your hive looks, with mainly capped brood, a little larvae, and no eggs. About the time the last worker brood emerges, which is a maximum of 12 days after all the worker larvae are capped, a new queen will be mated and starting to lay. Be patient. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Better Bees channel for more helpful content.